Hello, welcome everyone, Firemac here. I'm just gonna be by myself today, because, you know, Destiny loves just giving us more shit. They made it obvious that that's what they want to do, so I'm here with Sparrow Racing. I'm not sure this is gonna be one video or two, because I know there's two racing tracks. And, uh, let's get started. I, I'm pretty much going into this uh, blind. I am also kind of super late, because <laughs> this event's been going on for a while. I'm catching it on the last week, I believe. So anyway, here we go. The Sparrow Racing Limited Time Event. Start your Sparrows, Guardians, SRL, SRL races are available in the Featured Activity Panel. In celebration of the races, Eververse has added new emotes, toolkits, and the SRL Record Book Volume 1. With stat tracking and rewards, visit Amanda Holiday in the Tower for racing requests and bounties. Cool. I have updates. I probably might skip... Out on this, what? What the hell? Anyway, I'm here. Oh, what's this? Happy horn, sparrow horn. I guess we got new horns. That's cool. Details. Blow your own horn. What? Can I get a preview? Wait. Well, I locked it. Okay. Whatever. Um. Alright, so what to talk about? Let's see here. Yeah, my I, this is after the update where they nerfed my Sunbreaker Titan. So I have no opinion on that. Uh, yeah, I guess... Why don't we... Because I, I got a little housekeeping to do on my end, which I'm going to make sure I cut that out. But uh, while we're loading into the tower here, let me talk a little bit. The future of Destiny on my channel... So, I don't really know. I know for a fact there's more Destiny Taking King stuff happening down the line. In fact, by the time you see this video, it'll be the new year. We'll be in 2016, and it's probably March. So, excuse me. Any information that would have been released between when I record this and uh, when in March, by the time you're seeing this, there's going to be all sorts of new information out there that's going to may affect what I'm about to say here. Uh, basically, as far as Destiny is concerned, the way they're handling Destiny makes it hard for me to conduct a proper Let's Play. So it's... I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But, um... Because there, we know there's another small event coming on the scale of the Festival of the Lost. Then there's supposed to be some really giant event happening. So I'll probably be recording stuff for that. Um, what else? What else? Okay, well, I guess while I'm talking here, we take a look here. They changed the flags. That's cool. They painted the ground. That's cool. Anything on the... No, nothing on that. Okay, cool. It's looking pretty empty here. I, well, maybe it's not that empty. But okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, so Destiny is going to continually... This is going to be the future of Destiny, at least for year two. They're going to release events where uh, they're just going to make all their money from this this woman right here. Why don't we take a look what she has? Fall 2015 emo mystery bag. Contains one emote from Fall 2015. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, I also... This is also after the fact that I heard about them actually selling the fucking... What was it? Those level sparks? Level 25 boosters for characters? Like, I can understand why they're doing that. But... I know a lot of people are going to see that as pay to win. And in reality, yeah, they, there is a lot of truth to that. But here's what I say about that. Most of the people playing Destiny right now, they actually play it for legitly. Anything level 25 and below really doesn't matter. The purpose is they want people to catch up to be on a starting level playing field for Taking King. So I'm assuming when we get new stuff, when they raise our light level, we're going to see another booster on that. They don't want people to take forever on the lower level ends. Which is kind of lame if you think about it. Because if I was playing fresh, I would rather enjoy the experience of leveling my character up all the way. 
But I guess that's just uh, nature of the beast, I guess. Uh, th I don't. I don't care about any of this. I'd have to pay ten bucks for this. So this is ridiculous. Like I, I caved and bought all the stuff during the festival of Lost, but uh, I don't know. What's this? Energetic dance. Really? Like, eh, mm. wow. You've got the moves. Air guitar. I'm cool with the air guitar. I actually like that. But I don't think I'm going to give any more superfluous. Superfluous? Would that be a proper word? Uh, money to Destiny. It's just too much. I can't handle paying for this much crap for Destiny. <laughs> yeah. Face palm is pretty much my reaction to this. I'm going to go enjoy my races. Uh, Iron Banner's coming back. Whatever. I'm kind of at a point where Destiny just no longer excites me as much as it used to. Like I can't handle all these microtransaction stuff anymore. I was super, I was like super completionist mode in Destiny, and I don't think I'm gonna do it anymore. I think I'm just gonna get my exotics, and that's all I'm gonna care about now, and get my trophies, obviously. But uh, yeah, as far as like raids go, I don't, I don't see myself. I don't see myself really doing both hard mode and normal mode anymore because there's really not much of a difference. I mean, the, most people only care about the bosses on hard mode. I mean, if it comes down to that, I might just do a video for the bosses. But everything else is kind of like the same shit. And it's kind of lame to just do another recording of all that stuff again. My normal mode run should be enough to satisfy you guys. But, um... I still intend to cover, like, if any... Anything that comes up from Destiny involves, like, a story mission or something as interesting as a Sparrow Race. You know, something that you can't normally just, like, mess around on your quest screen, you know. Stuff where you can... Stuff that actually has meat to it content like actual content like here we go as you see i have no other quests because i actually exhausted everything i could do so far if you want to run at the head of the herd you're going to need a license all right so i gotta talk to amanda holiday wait did i oh i didn't have room um crap it's really hard to like manage this and try to talk to you guys because like, i'm trying to like think because I'm trying to manage my inventory and like not fuck up my inventory, but I'm also trying to tell you guys about the future of Destiny videos on my channel. So I don't know what to do. Like this might end up being its own video. It's kind of lame. I'm not... I guess this might be a two-parter after all. Uh, all, right. all right, I'll grab this Ingram. Do this. Uh. I was also interested in maybe possibly doing a video series on just showing the maps of multiplayer. I don't know. I don't know if I'm still gonna do that. The matter, the matter of the fact is, I want to make room for more stuff in on my channel that's not Destiny. So I don't want to do Destiny so much anymore, and I want to move on to other things. But I don't want to completely abandon Destiny. I mean, I've been covering Destiny pretty intensely. Oh, that's 285. Eh, just get rid of it. All right, so I'm not as I'm not as super completionist mode about Destiny anymore, and I think it kind of shows because I used to care so much about doing certain things. I might, but I like completing all the quests with all my characters, which I. Technically, haven't done that yet for my hunter and warlock, and I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do that anymore. But uh, I don't know. I'm definitely gonna play all my characters because I do love playing all them. Oh hey, look, there's actually stuff on the windows. That's cool. 
Uh, anyway, I know I'm saying anyway a lot, but it's like my way of trying to get my brain back on. Oh, they actually decorated around here a little bit. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Big old hockey right there. Oh, look, they got a little sparrow thing going on here. That's cool. That's cool. Right, so, okay, raids, don't expect me to cover, uh, not show a hard mode, I mean, don't expect me to show both hard and normal mode anymore, it's just, it's too much work to cover something that's just, like, the same crap, so <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I'm, I'm basically, I'm trying to wind down on Destiny stuff and slow it down, because I definitely want to make more room for other stuff to, to be on this channel. Uh, let's see what what Amanda Holiday has to say. I realize I've been talking for a good while already. Sparrow racing has been happening since the first time one guardian said to another, Betcha I can get to that mountain before you do. Nowadays we do things a mite more organized, but the principle's the same. Alright, new step. Earn your SRL class C license by finishing SRL races. And there's some bounties. Hit gates in a single race. I'm most likely not going to complete these, but whatever. Kill enemies on a track. That seems fun. Hit 15 consecutive gates. Complete 10 other as hard. 10 other? Well, they want me to come back every day, huh? Oh, this is a helmet. 3 defense. Screw that. That's right, these are not supposed to have, like, any. And they cost legendary marks? Are you kidding me? This is stupid. And they require me to finish the quest. That's dumb. That's super dumb. I gotta do five races. I don't know if I'm gonna do all that. Anyway, where was I? Destiny, quests... Right, if if there's something interesting, like there, there can be new quests out there, but it might not be anything. Like the the festival, the lost quest, they really didn't amount to anything. So like, I'm not gonna show stuff like that. I just now does the floor here. That's cool. I'm not gonna show that. I'm only gonna show if it's like new stuff. That's what I mean by meat. Like if they give us a mission, even if it's like nothing, nothing really new, but it's definitely a mission with a new name on it. I will cover it. Or something like this. A sparrow racing that's completely different. You're going to see something new. And I definitely want to show that off. So that. And then the multiplayer matches. I might do a LP kind of. just to, I just kind of want to show off the maps. Just, just to have it cataloged on my... I guess. Have it just have it... Bleh, I am stuttering. To have it categorized... On my channel, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that anymore. And as far as what's gonna happen after the Taken King, I don't know. It depends how excited I get with Destiny 2. We know Destiny 2 is coming. Speed is a weapon, learn to wield it or be left behind. We know Destiny 2 is coming. And I mean, with Taken King, I really wasn't expecting to really do anything with it but I got really excited for Taken King and then I ended up wanting to just record everything so yeah another thing is I'm going to stop requiring that my friends show up so expect videos where I'm by myself or I might just be recording audio with them just being in it and they're not talking <laughs> I don't know I don't know how things are going to go in the future but uh my plans are to just not not make Destiny such an intense focus. And there's a good chance I might not even record any videos for the story missions in the future. Because, uh, it's really hard to make, uh, entertaining content for Destiny. I and mean, it might... Maybe if we did, like... I don't know. Like, freaking, uh... If we did, we did things where we didn't have to pay attention to the story or anything... 
we might make something entertaining, but it's kind of hard to stay entertaining in Destiny, especially since there's a lot of exploring. It's very grindy. Destiny is a very grindy game, so it makes a Let's Play really hard. So I'm probably going to wind down on Destiny a lot, and I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do in the future, but it's... I've been... I know I'm sounding repetitive as crap right now. But I just gotta make sure I get this point across. <laughs> that Destiny is definitely not gonna be as intensely covered in the future. I'll definitely do a raid. Like, I'll, for time being, I'll definitely make sure I cover raids. Because raids are the most popular thing about Destiny. Campus Martius. <laughs> Alright. I'm just going to play this level. Alright, the raids are most likely the one thing that's going to stick around. I might show boss footage. I might, In fact, what, what might end up happening is that I'll just do guides more than, more than often instead of what I usually do. Raids and guides is most likely what's going to happen. Alright, let's do this. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. And look at these people with their fancy sparrows. Oh, hey, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. All right. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably I'm probably gonna fail, by the way, because racing's my worst uh, genre of games. Ah, jeez. I got this. As you see right now, I'm not, not doing anything all that interesting. Which is why... Destiny may not be covered anymore in the future. And look at that, I just missed that gate. Right now I'm not even trying, I'm just kinda just holding down the... The button, be like, what's up? This is pretty cool, though. I'm actually, I actually didn't think they were going to do spare racing. So this is pretty neat. Alright, I'm getting a little too into it. Lap two. Keep it up. As you can see, I'm not winning. Not by a long shot. These people have probably been playing for like, the past three weeks now. And I'm just Mr. Hopping in the game so I can show off to my YouTube. Oh god! See, this would probably be more entertaining if I had my friends talking right now. But like I said, Destiny is is not really suited to do a great Let's Play content. So I'm most likely gonna stop covering Let's uh, Destiny like this. So the future for Destiny on my channel. Um, is raids because the raids are six people with six people talking and we're going to be constantly talking because we got to coordinate ourselves oh and I died that's cool <laughs> I didn't know you could die what the heck was I saying what was I saying um right destiny I this is get, uh, this must be annoying to to you guys listening right now. It's like, oh my god, shut the fuck up, say something different, talk about something else. 
I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm just like, when you're trying to play a game and commentate at the same time, it's it's not that simple. It's like because if you you gotta focus on one or other. If you focus on the commentary, your gameplay suffers. If you focus on the gameplay, your commentary suffers. It's it's really not a it's oh god damn it, can't talk. It's really a weird acquired skill you need to be able to do process both in your head at once. It's a little easier when you're not in a multiplayer match right now. Uh, oh god damn it. I'm on the final lap. Right, so Destiny content. I, I've said it like the entire video. Raids will be around, most likely not covering future content anymore right, of the story. Story most likely not getting the, the usual treatment. I'm, I might still cover it. It's just gonna be different from what I usually do. Like, for Taken King, I just decided to make, like, every episode dedicated to just one story mission. Which generally worked in the sense of just keeping the Let's Play going. But it took a long time to get through everything. And I'm done. And I was in fourth place. Alright. Cool, cool beans. So, I think I have to do five of these for... I'm not sure if I can... Act, uh, can I even do the other map? I'm not even sure. I don't, it's not even worth showing. <laughs> this video might end it here. But I said what I needed to say. I'm just going to stay in the match. Uh, I'm going to keep talking to you guys for the next 19 seconds here. Destiny content. I said it this entire time. I'm repeating myself like crazy. I'm so sorry. You guys must hate me right now. You wish you were watching someone else. You probably clicked away already. Yeah, Destiny, things are going to change. It might not be covered so intensely anymore. Right, I said guides. Guides might be the most likely thing that keep coming out of me, but I don't know what kind of guides I'm going to do. <laughs> I, I really don't know. I might just do fucking montages. I don't fucking know. Destiny is just a weird beast to cover. And, uh, yeah. Just to reiterate... I will cover the rest of Taken King profusely as the, as I've I have been this entire time. Future content for Destiny 2, I don't know. I just don't know. But uh if you guys have suggestions, let me know. I don't know how long this video is going to be or what's up. But uh I'm gonna either cut it off here, and then if if I can get footage of the other level, I'll do that. So, cutting the episode here. <laughs> okay, looks like I'm back. Um, well, you know, hey, looks like I'm back. Looks like I hit the Venus track. Uh. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to access it without completing the quest. But uh, here I go. I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm still learning how the hell I'm supposed to be any good at this. <laughs> but uh, some people have a handle on it. I don't. But whatever. I mean, this is fun. And I like the fact that you can actually do something that's not the usual business. And already had a terrible start there, as you saw. And uh, since this is my first time doing this track, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Holy crap!
Was that a shortcut I just did? Oh man, well that's one gate I just missed. Holy shit! I think I just missed a shortcut. Yep, those guys got super ahead. This map's pretty cool for the racing. Oh, not good. Oh, jeez. Whoa! Okay, um... Right, so, um, this is pro after this race is over, I'll probably be done with showing you guys the Sparrow Racing. At least, to my knowledge. Because I don't think the quest is going to lead to anything special. So... So yeah. If I get super quiet, it's because I'm actually trying to do some good here. Seem to be doing okay ish, but I can't overtake that guy in the front right now. Oh, did I just get in first? I don't know. I was in the lead. Ah, oh, jeez, no! It's really hard to stay in first. Oh, we got this. Come on. No. No, no, no. Oh, that that was a death death warrant. There's no way I'm going to get back where I was. I was briefly in the lead, so that's cool. Get on my wave, asshole. Final lap, huh? Oh, jeez. No, I missed the gate. Oh, God. This is a hostile plan. No. Are you sure you want to be in front? I was in the lead. No, no, no! I got excited and I missed. No! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is actually kind of intense. Oh no. No, no, don't hit that. No. Ah. Why am I over here? No! No! Oh man. That one sucked, man. I was actually doing pretty well, and then I just ended up in dead last <laughs> from the looks of it. Well, actually, I'm not dead last, but... Alright, well, that was kind of fun. Well, you know, it was fun. I enjoyed myself. That actually got pretty intense. I was doing pretty well. Uh, this was most likely the last video, because I don't think there's going to be anything interesting after I finish the quest. It's probably just going to give me more stuff to do. And it's not really going to give me anything that interesting, so... Yeah, I'm just going to call it here, everybody. Thanks for joining me. This has been fun. Uh, I'll see you on the next event, most likely, of Destiny the Taken King, which will most likely be the next episode, considering the way things are going with Destiny. Because as of right now, as of this recording, I have no idea 
what the next event is. <laughs> but by the time this video is out, I'm sure everyone plus myself is going to know. So see you guys then. Bye-bye. This is Firemac saying bye-bye. I said that out of order, but yeah, this is Firemac saying bye-bye. <laughs>